Hi there, Taurus. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for March. This could turn out to be one of the most extraordinary months you've ever experienced. Now, that seems quite a bold claim, doesn't it? Well, now I've got to try and justify that. The month begins, potentially, with you in a very friendly zone, with Mercury and the Sun cooperating in the part of your scope that's to do with links with other people. But Mercury soon moves. It moves into a more private area, and it can have a rather mutant effect on, ev on events and situations. But what I think is going to be absolutely brilliant for you is on the 5th of this month, because then Venus, your ruler, moves into your sign. And if you have gone through a period where you've really been quite mithered about what you want from your love life, quite unsure, you may have even gone through some kind of separation, this is going to be an opportunity to draw a line in the sand and begin again. But all sorts of strands can start afresh. And then, there is a wonderful conjunction between Venus and Jupiter, which remains in your sign. This can give you a sunny optimism, which is just absolutely impossible to recreate. Now, Jupiter is only going to be in your sign for a few months longer, so you need to take this opportunity with both hands, because it would be 12 years before it returns to you. Now, the combination of Venus and Jupiter can turn up a love of anything remotely luscious or calorific, but it's going to give your sex appeal an enormous boost, and you're going to be given out a star quality, and then the two of them link brilliantly with Mars, so you're going to really sparkle. Now, it is true to say that on the 20th of the month, the Sun does move into a muted area. And with Mercury starting to twist backwards also from the 17th, if there are concerns, well, I do feel that these can become stronger in your thinking, particularly if it's to do with people that you can't quite rely upon. But if you discover this month that there are some fair-weather friends, the converse can also be true, that you attract some new, really positive people into your world who can be absolutely fantastic for you, particularly with Jupiter forging a brilliant link with Pluto. And then when Venus gets by, beside Jupiter, it also forges a brilliant link with Pluto. And the theme of expanding your world through travel, higher education, linking with people who are more open-minded is something that can really take hold in a very meaningful way. But even if there has been some kind of separation or pause in one key relationship, on the 24th, as Mercury rewinds into Pisces, I do feel that that can start to be sorted out. The only cautionary note, really, comes right at the end of the month, as Mars does go face to face with Neptune. This could give you a choice around your love life, and it may be a difficult situation and a tricky decision to make, but it's quite nice to be in the position where you may have one to, 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 to actually decide upon, because it suggests more than one person could be really wooing you and trying to win your affection. It's been a pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.